how would you know when HDL is indeed too high? So if you look at the all cause mortality data, it's a, a J or a U shaped curve, actually probably closer to a U shape. Whereas you mentioned less than 40, higher risk. Then once you get above 70, also higher risk. So um, APOA1 tracks with the HDL story because APOA1 is found almost exclusively on HDL. It can be freely floating in plasma, but if it's in blood, it's almost exclusively coming from HDL. And I, I know that not just because of the, you know, published mechanism and, and that it's, you know, uh, found on HDL, but I've measured APOA1 and HDL. I looked at the correlation over seven tests and the correlation coefficient is greater than 0.9. So I, I actually stopped measuring APOA1 and just, uh, I'm only focused on HDL. There's no need to measure them both. So if you look at the quote unquote optimal range for HDL, 50 to 69 men and women, this is a study of like 12 million people or more. Um, I don't remember the exact actual, actual number. It was greater than 10 million, but so, okay, let's bypass that. Let's look at APOA1. Well, in a small study, I think this study was about 300,000 people. All cause mortality risk for APOA1 was lowest for 150 to 180 milligrams per deciliter. All right, what about greater than 180? Well, although lowest risk was that 150 to 180, all cause mortality risk went away at greater than 180. So you essentially lost the lower lowering of all cause mortality risk at values greater than 180. So in your case, I'd say that's the best case scenario. I don't think your HDL is going to be associated with a higher all cause mortality risk when considering APOA1, but there's another factor to consider. So HDL, high HDL, you know, cardio, cardio protective. So then why, or in within what context would high HDL be potentially bad for health and or longevity? Well, we're considering that, as you mentioned, alcohol can raise it and knowing that, and I'm not saying you're an alcoholic by no means. I'm not saying that. I'm sure you're not. You moderate alcohol intake, but um, for people who are alcoholics, HDL is dramatically high. And within that context, they've got damage to liver enzymes. GGT is relatively high, ASD, ALT. So could that be a part of your story where maybe you wouldn't die from cardiovascular disease, but maybe some liver related issues? Could you clean up your liver related issues with train, you know, not blood testing the day before the, a hard workout. And now GGT is less than 12, AST, ALT closer to the you know, low twenties. And then the HDL story doesn't become a liver health story. It's just, okay, well, it's a, maybe it's a bit too much wine where I'm losing the lowering of all cause mortality risk, just being outside of that 180. So, so that would be the context for that. 